of life, source of legislation, source of culture and behavior and everything, they have some other focus. Then, that is where the message is going to. You must apply every action of yours must be reflective to the Quran. If you create your own way and Quran is there, that means you ignore the Quran and you abandon the Quran intentionally. And then this is what's going to happen to that person. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from this kind of severe punishment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already warned, uh, from, uh, warned it from us. أقول قول هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. قال آخر الناس. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah سبحانه وتعالى is telling us that. Uh, this ayah, woman Arab and decree for in the law, Maisha and Banka. So let us pick up now Maisha, the word Maisha. Maisha and Banka, which is a lifestyle which is so narrow and so complicated and so cumbersome. It's very cumbersome that you cannot uh, feel any kind of happiness. You cannot feel any kind of tranquility. But, so your life is in that situation, which is always from critical situation to another critical situation. This Ma'isha, in, in Arabic, in, even in the Quran, Allah the, means, usually in the, according to the Arabic language, linguistically, there are two words to use for, for life, Al-Hayat and Al-Ma'isha. Al-Hayat, is the life which is just a regular life that even animal has. It is simple that you you are alive, you eat, and, uh, you, and just like that, and you survive in, uh, in order to to stay alive, and you reproduce. You have you produce babies and so on. That anyone can do that. Any human being does that thing, and any kind of any. <coughs> A species of animal does the same thing. So there's no difference from uh, in when you have the life which is called al-hayat, in Arabic al uh, that hayat is just like normal life, which both animal and uh, uh, human being have it. So when you have that life, it's just regular. But when we are talking about Ma'isha, the Ma'isha is the one which is the real, real life. It is, it's worth to note now that some languages, not only Arabic language, in all Eastern African languages, like Swahili and Somali, those languages, they, they use the word Ma'isha. For example, if you are in any um, Swahili-speaking country, they first, when they won't greet you, they will say to you, Habariya Ma'isha. How is your life? Which is not the normal life, the real, real life. And that real life is the one that, you, which you can get tranquility, happiness, and you enjoy. It. That is the life. You get everything you need, and you are, you are happy for the way you are. Then that is the Ma'isha, and that is the one which people, even when they greet each other, they ask about it. So that one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in this verse and many other verses in the Quran that Allah will make it so narrow and congested for the person who neglects the Quran. In another verse, let me take another example from another verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بَعْدَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ ومن يعش عن ذكر الرحمن نقيد له شيدانا فهو له قرين وإنهم لا يسدونهم عن سبيل الله 
وإنهم لا يصدونهم عن السبيل ويحسبون أنهم مهتدون. Allah says, and whosoever turns away from the remembrance of Allah, that's the Quran, we appoint for him Shaitan to be a companion to him, to be an intimate friend to him. And verily, they hinder, those Shaitanists, they hinder them from the path. But they think that they are, uh, they are guided on the right track. Even though they are in loss, they believe that they are in the right track. So, and, but then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the beginning that because they neglected the Quran and they turned away from the Quran, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a shaitan to them and that shaitan became their friends. And the shaitan got the opportunity now to guide them to the way he wants. So the shaitan always wants to divert you from the right track to the wrong track. So then here we understand that and because it is you who and first started becoming disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and turning away from the Quran, abandoning the Quran, <coughs> and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you this way which uh, Shaitan is the one who is guiding you. Then you can't blame Allah in this situation, you can't blame anyone else, but you blame yourself because you are the one who started the wrong doing. And the, uh, now let us see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one And then you tie this verse to the other verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ma'isha um, Dhanka. How is that Ma'isha Dhanka? Is that we, we divide it into in terms of risk, your uh, portion in this world, maybe your life will be always in a struggle. In day and night you are working, you are running up and down, trying your best to collect money, but you gain nothing. So that is Ma'isha Dhanka. And again, even you got billions and billions of money. Your uh, money is everywhere, but still you, your life is what? In the worst situation. You are in worry, you worry about your money, how to maintain your money, how to maintain your dignity, how to increase that money. You talk, you think about that. And because of you thinking about it, then your life is in danger at that time. You are in critical situation because you are not stable. When the person who is very poor is just there sleeping, getting up, is loving all the time, doing whatever he wants in a happy life, but he gets only what uh, all his property is from hand to mouth. But you, even you are a billionaire, but at the same time you are in this situation of uh, all the time thinking and, and having anxiety and depression and all kinds of problems. You get all kinds of, of psychological problems. You have the money in physical, but then it is you are in critical situation. Again, you get you go into another critical situation when it comes to your family, family crisis, behavior crisis, and social crisis. People will hate you singly. Your neighbors will hate you when you are rich, but then you have no friend. And again, political crisis. And you, maybe you have a political ambition, but then you, are, you fail all the time. Or even you have no political ambition, but the politicians attack you. So you have so many enemies, your money didn't help you in any way. Then, all the time, your life is in sad, you are sad all the time, you are always in, in trauma and paranoid, and all the time you have this kind of anger and irritation. Then. This, all these frustrations are the meaning of Ma'ishat al a life which is not taking you to a happy life. And again, I, in the opposite of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
على بذكر الله الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله على بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس those who believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى and whose heart is finds a rest in the remembrance of Allah verily in the remembrance of Allah do people's hearts find rest so when you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is when your heart is in rest and you are in good life your situation is excellent but when you lose that chance of becoming and remembering Allah all the time and applying the Quran in all your life's circle, be it action, thinking, and also reading. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even says that all those things are the ones who can make you, your heart, to be in good, tranquility life, in rest and happiness. And if you lose those, uh, those characteristics, that is when your life goes to the ma'ishat al-bankai a very critical and narrow lifestyle. And so, all of those, we here we can feel that the application of the Quran, which comprises of learning, reading, uh, understanding, applying it into your actions and words and thinking and all that, and teaching it also others. When you, uh, all those things, if you neglect them, then that is when your life goes to the critical situation. But if you do them, your life becomes, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah bidikrillahi tadma in al-qulubu. Indeed, the remembrance of Allah, in the remembrance of Allah, hearts become rest and tranquility of life. My dear brothers and sisters, I advise myself and yourself and that we always try our best to apply the Quran, to read the Quran, to understand the Quran, and put it into application. And that is where we can learn all uh, the instructions and guidelines of our life. If we neglect the Quran, then we have nothing else. Everything is gone. It is not necessarily that we rely on some other narrations, some other stories, and what our previous generations did, and what they, how they were good, and so. But what matters is that the Quran is there in front of us. We need to become a people of the Quran.